So what is securitization? I've got a pool of assets. It could be residential mortgages, or it could be car loans, or commercial mortgages, or credit card debt, or personal finance loans, or project finance loans, or non-performing loans. <laughs> uh, think of an asset class that could be on the bank's balance sheet. The bank creates a legal entity specifically for this purpose. So the legal entity is created just for this transaction to, to be undertaken. And that's called the special purpose vehicle. It's a legal entity in its own right, the special purpose vehicle. Like any corporate entity, the special purpose vehicle has a balance sheet, assets on one side, liabilities on the other. The assets of the SPV are the originated assets, the underlying assets that the bank wants to securitize. Let's assume now residential mortgages. The SPP buys those from the bank and the money it uses to buy those assets from the bank it has obtained by raising securities. So the legal entity issues bonds in the wholesale markets and the proceeds from those bonds are used to purchase the assets that are on the balance sheet. And th that's on the right hand side of the diagram, the market marketable securities, usually a securitization transaction. In a securitization transaction, the SPV doesn't just issue one class of bond. It issues two, three, four or more classes of bond. That is the tranching of the liability structure that I was referring to in the earlier slide. So uh, tr the junior tranche is the, in this example here, class D, you could call that the equity note. That's also known as the first loss piece. And by tranching the liability structure and having two, three, four or five or more classes of security, you build a order of priority. Just like in a normal corporate entity, if you look at the liability side of the balance sheet, there is an order of priority if that corporate entity goes bust if it's bankrupt, the equity holder loses out because by definition, once the equity has been wiped out, you're bankrupt. But then as the administrator to a bankrupt entity starts to recover value from that entity to try and pay off its unsecured creditors, that payoff is in an order of priority. Secured creditors come first. Actually, in some jurisdictions, the, the taxation authorities come first. <laughs> but secured, secured creditors come first, then unsecured creditors, and then the most junior note, uh, note holders, equity, which are usually wiped out in a bankruptcy. Now, that's exactly the same for an issuer that is an SPV. In this example, the senior note is the Class A note, and that is paid out first in order of priority, the coupon, the, the repayment of the notes. But that also means it is furthest removed from any default. If there is a default, so if you, if you look at the diagram there, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses there. Just imagine um, each house there represents 10, 10 houses. So there's actually 90 houses on the balance sheet. As soon as one of them, uh, the mortgage on one of them defaults, that, that loss feeds through to the most junior note holder, which is the class D security. And depending on how much tranching there is, how much of the all, how much percentage of the liability structure is represented by each note, there has to be that much default before the next note up is affected. Okay, so this order of priority, this security, this uh, tranching gives the most senior note a high rating, typically AAA. Even though the underlying assets might not be AAA on the left hand side, on the right hand side, on the, on the issued securities, the most senior note, the one that is repaid first, the one whose coupon is always played first and who is furthest away from any uh, defaults in the underlying asset pool, the most senior note is usually AAA. And it's this tranching that is one of the main reasons that it can, you can get a AAA rating, irrespective of what the rating is of the underlying assets. That's why it's possible to securitize a pool of non-performing loans. These are loans that are technically in default. The borrower has stopped paying interest on them. It is possible to securitize a pool of non-performing loans and still issue a AAA security on the other side. Or indeed, as is now famous from two, in the build-up to 2007 and 2008, it's possible to securitize subprime mortgages and uh, end up with AAA securities on the other side. Mainly, but not solely, because of this tranching characteristic. The senior note is furthest away from defaults, so you have to have more and more defaults before the senior note is affected, before the investor in the senior note start to see a capital loss. and. The more and more defaults you require in any 12 month period, the lower and lower the probability of that happening is. So the bigger the tranching, the, the, the lower the probability of any defaults ever hitting the senior note. And once that low probability gets to a certain level, let's just say for the sake of argument, 0.01% uh, in a year, then you've got a AAA uh, rating on the note.